In a previous video, we've looked at how we can put ions together. So for instance, the sodium has given one electron to the chlorine. Now for the remainder of this video, I'm going to be looking at things at these ions as if they are Na+, plus, like so, and Cl-. minus. That is obviously the other way that I can write these ions. Now our word electrolysis actually can be broken down into two different parts. Electro, that means electricity, and then lysis means breaking or splitting. So the main thing that we can say is that electrolysis is the breaking of compounds using electricity. Now previously, I've also said that any metal which has ium on the end of it has electrolysis. Now these tend to be the reactive metals. So we have the reactive metals in compounds getting broken down by electricity. Okay, so let's begin this. So in my solution, or in my molten state, I have an electrolyte. Now an electrolyte is pretty much the salt broken down by electrolysis. Now, that salt needs to either be in solution or molten so that ions can move. So if the ions can move, they can carry charge. Now this is a bit of a recap from your topic two bonding where we have our ionic compounds, the ions can move and carry charge when they're in solution or molten. So in my solution, I have my Na plus and I have my Cl minus. That is these two up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put an electric current through it. Now, I've dipped in two things called an electrode. On this side, this would be my positive electrode. And on this side, I have my negative electrode. So I have a positive charge on one electrode, and I have a negative charge on the other electrode. Now what's going to happen is I have a positive in sodium, so that sodium is going to be attracted to the negative electrodes because opposite charges attract. When that sodium reaches the negative electrode, it's going to be gaining an electron from the electrode and it will make my sodium. Here, when the chlorine moves to the positive electrode, the whole idea is that it loses electrons. So at Cl minus, it's going to lose an electron. Problem is, chlorine has to go around in twos. We have talked about this in bonding. It has the seven electrons in the outer shell. So I need to balance this as two electrons lost and two chlorines have gone there. So on this side, I will make sodium, and on this side, I'll have chlorine. Done.
Now we're going to go on to the higher tier part of this. Now when I have water, water actually comes around as two different ions. We saw this in the pH 7. There is actually in water a constant reversible reaction to make H plus and OH minus in the water. That means in solution I have H plus and OH minus in there as well. Now, if the metal ion is more reactive than hydrogen, the hydrogen will move instead. H plus ion will move instead. So if you can think about it, the metal ion is going to keep hold of its charge much better than the hydrogen. Now that is all metals apart from silver and copper. Copper will be and silver will be the only ones that are less reactive than hydrogen. If the non-metal is a sulfate, if it is a nitrate, or if it is anything other than a halogen, halogen, so group 7, we would have the OH moving instead. Now we do have to work out what those half equations are going to be. So the first one, if the hydrogen moves, H plus moves, it moves to the negative electrode, so it will gain an electron. So I'll put it gaining an electron. Problem is, hydrogen is again one that has to go around as two. So I would need two H plus and two E minus. When it's OH moving instead, OH minus is going to move and it's going to lose an electron. But when this loses an electron, it makes OH on its own like that, which you can't have. So what we end up doing is we make Water H2O, so the hydrogen of one goes to the high, goes to the OH of another, and we make oxygen. So in this situation, I have to balance that, and the only way to balance it is four OH minus plus two H2O and an O2. That will also make four electrons. So that is the half equation for anything, sulfate, nitrate, phosphate, anything that is not a halogen.